Hey guys, I'm Sam with Mattress Makers, and this is another episode of Anatomy of a Mattress. Hey guys, so here we are. We have the, we're gonna be opening up the Stearns and Foster uh, Estate Murfield mattress. It's a nice looking mattress. Um, this retailed, I believe for a queen around 1500, for a king about 2100, somewhere in between that price range. Um, but before we start, I just wanna uh, reiterate the reason we do this is to just educate you guys and uh, just to take away the mystery of what's going on inside mattresses, what kind of materials are being used there, and then also just to inform you on how do we find how do you find a good mattress? How do I know it's going to last a long time? You know, two two things you want to look for a mattress: one that's comfortable, of course, but also you want that comfort to last a long time. And so that's what we're going to be talking about: is the durability of the bed based off the materials that's on the inside. And so. Um, again, this is a uh, Stearns & Foster Estate Murfield. Uh, now, if you guys are in the market for a new mattress, uh, we're based on San Diego. We have a store in Miramar and a store in La Mesa. Uh, we make all our own mattresses, so we manufacture our own, uh, so we don't skyrocket our prices and give you crazy sales. Um, it's, you know, we're local in San Diego, family owned, been making mattresses since 1968. So if you're new and you're in the market for a new mattress, Check us out in Miramar and in La Mesa. And if you're just starting, download our free mattress shopping guide. The link's in the description. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, check us out, check out the, download it, read it before we even stepping inside um, a store. So let's open this up and see what's on the inside. Now this mattress, it was manufactured 2015. Um, it's it, so four years ago. Based on looking at it, it still looks in pretty good shape. Customer use a mattress protector. So that's a good a good tip. Always use a mattress protector with your mattress. It's gonna just make the mattress look nice and extend the life of that bed uh, into the cover. All right. All right, so here we go. Now, first thing we always, uh, the three things we always talk about when doing this is the three parts to mattress is first the support layer. Support layer is where you're gonna get most of that back support. It's gonna be firmer, typically at the bottom of the bed. Um, and so the support layer, then on top of that is the comfort layer. Comfort layer is where you get the support for your shoulders and your hips, or the pressure relief, excuse me. Typically a little bit softer than the support layer. Uh, and usually the first thing that we see to break down in a mattress. And then, of course, we have the cover. The cover is what you see when you look at the mattress. It's gonna affect the temperature, the breathability of the bed, and sometimes the comfort, depending on the, um, the if it's quilted or not, and how tight the material is in that cover. Um, so, let's take a look here. I'm gonna open all the way up so you guys can with the better cover as well. All right, so take this off. So right off the bat, we have some foam along the edge here. And this is actually a spring mattress, even though you can't see the spring. If I open this up, this black layer here, there's springs in the center here. So this is what's called a foam encased mattress. Foam encased means you can see the, the foam here along the edge. It looks like about, uh, probably about three inches of foam. Yeah, about three inches of foam along the border that goes all the way around the mattress. So if you fill the edge of a mattress and it's foam, but it's a spring bed, it's gonna be a foam encased bed. Um, and the reason why companies do this is to give it a firm edge support. Um, a lot of people like to get up, you know, sit on the edge of their mattress, put on their shoes, or just getting up and out of the bed. It helps support the edge of the mattress. Um, problem is with foam, foam encased, it's a good way to save money for companies. Um, and you know, usually foam breaks down quicker than, than springs do. So the springs are gonna usually get good shape, but the, the foam 
tends to break down and start to get that saggy edge. So not a huge fan of foaming case, maybe in lower quality, not, not lower quality, but cheaper mattresses, less investment. But if a higher end mattress, foam and case, it's, it's kind of not our favorite thing to do. And so what we do is we'll put edge to edge coils. We'll put firmer coils along the edge uh, that goes all the way around so it lasts longer. Uh, and it gives you more of a sleeping surface. You still have that spring feel, that spring mattress all the way up on the edge. Um, so that's foam and case. The actual support layer is not necessarily the foam, but rather the coils. The coils, good, the good coils, the pocketed coils, it seems like. Um, it's, a, it's a good coil system. Uh, it's a good support system, coils, uh, for the most part, uh, depending on the type of coils you do get. The pocketed coils are popular, they're nice. They move independently. And then we have the comfort layers, which is these here. So you got a total of about six inches of comfort layer. Okay, so we have just about a, a three inch polyurethane foam here. It seems pretty soft. Um, this was classified as a luxury firm. So maybe more of a medium. And then we have about an inch of memory foam here. That, yeah. An inch of memory foam here to get a little bit of a cushion. Pretty soft on the top of that, that one inch. This is where you get more of that luxury firm as well as the tightness in the, in the cover. Um, this is probably the weak point in the bed. You know, one inch memory foam, if it's a softer memory foam, tend to compress. You know, a good rule of thumb is a mattress is only as strong as its weakest link. You know, as soon as one layer goes out, it affects the entire bed. So the you know, weak link in this bed is probably this one inch memory foam. And then if we look at the cover, let me open this a little bit more. Looks like there's more polyurethane inside here. Now most mattresses are gonna have some polyurethane foam, about 90 to 95 percent of the mattress. You know, I'm just that's a number I come up with. I don't know, not hard numbers, but I don't take that to the bank. But what we see is most mattresses have polyurethane foam. I want to make sure it's a high density foam, at least 1.8 pounds per cubic foot. That's how they measure density of foam. And you know, you're gonna at least get it to last a good amount of time. You know, so got polyurethane quilted into the in the cover. This cover, particular cover, it's called a tack and jump, uh, and so it's got these that makes it look like it's a tufted bed, but it's not actually tufted bed. It has these little kind of points where uh, it kind of goes in and out. So it kind of gives a nice luxury look to it. Um, so this is the cover, you know, it's about probably about two inches of cover. You're probably gonna get a pretty significant body impression on it after a few years, which is why the customer uh, needed to exchange it. You got a pretty big body impression. And so uh, just be aware of how much is in that top layer in that comfort layer when you're looking for a new mattress. Um, something like this, for us, you know, if you're looking for something that's comparable and comfort, uh, but you want it to last a long time, I'll say check out our Kensington series. We have a firm, medium, and soft. Uh, if you're looking for a luxury firm, we have our Kensington firm. We use pocket eight coils. It's all the way to the edge. Um, we use high density foam on both ends, uh, which means it's a double-sided mattress. You can actually flip it so that's a huge selling point because you want a mattress to be comfortable and you want it to be comfortable for a long time. So having it double-sided, it's just gonna really extend the life of that bed. So if you can flip it, it's gonna uh, uh, make a world of difference down the years. And so check out our Kensington. Uh, it retails for Queen $899. Uh, so even lower than this price point, King, about $1,000. So uh, come check us out. If you guys are in the market for a new mattress, Mattress makers in San Diego, one in Miramar, one in La Mesa, or download our free mattress shopping guide. And so now you know what's inside a Stern and Foster, the State Murphy of Luxury Firm Bed, or just a Stern and Foster mattress altogether. Nothing surprising here, but uh, hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. You can call us, send us an email, however you want to uh, message us. We'd love to help you on your mattress shopping journey. Till next time, see you guys later. Thank you.